Hi, this is Jason with ECG Solar and I wanted to do a more in-depth video on adding solar to a spinner truck and uh, touched a little bit on my previous video about the upfitting of the overall truck but wanted to get in a little bit more detail. So as you can see up here I have the uh, solar panels mounted up there, did all custom framing and enclosure system and uh, what those are are three Panasonic Evervolt 400s they're black on black get up on the ladder here because it is a little bit of a journey to give you kind of a bird's eye view of what those look like so it turned out pretty nice and then um was we're actually going to end up doing four but noticed right here after we got the truck that the uh, factory uh, antenna for all of the satellite services from navigation to communications and the uh, remote diagnostics the fleet management all that good stuff is all right there um, and I could have moved it but it would have been a lot of work to do it so um, I just put on three and I um, uh, still got 1200 watts of power so it worked out pretty good so I did all the enclosure uh, just to cut down on uh, wind noise so enclosed here and here and at the front uh, also keep uh, you know decrease a little bit of wind drag added the side lights here uh, which are door activated or you could obviously use the buttons inside the cab or the cargo area and I'll show those when I uh, I'll open up the side door here so again I have these lights uh, set on the door trigger so when I open this door Lights come on on both sides. It's nice to have a nice lidded area here. So basically what I did was wire them in series and then install the conduit body here. Got it all sealed up, all that good stuff. This is obviously my power wire for my lights and then your positive and negative. And then that runs all the way up through all this business here and had to get it uh, to go underneath the passenger seat. Now in the sprinter from the factory, the secondary battery system is underneath the uh, passenger seat. So, and I wanted to have some room to uh, install my charge controller. So I ended up installing the charge controller in here. The battery is behind it, but basically, um, it's all set up and you, you can see it's actually kind of charging a little bit right now off of just the LED lights in the shop. But anyways, so uh, this basically charges uh, all of the DC systems, uh, the, the primary battery and the secondary battery. And then off of the secondary battery, installed a 3000 watt inverter charger. And then that powers uh, all of the AC loads inside the truck. I got outlets kind of strategically placed throughout the uh, truck for AC conveniences. And then obviously powering this power strip here, which works out nice. And then this is also set up for um, uh, shore power as well. And I'll show you how I did that. And then down here, you can just see some of the wiring there and, uh, and it looks like uh, I gotta put my uh, positive uh, protective cap back on. I forgot to do that. But anyways, so uh, all worked out pretty nice. And I'll go over and show what I did. So uh, I just installed the cable or the plug-in here because it just makes sense to just you know open the door. You know, get out of the garage or whatever and I have the power cable you know like over here and I just reach right in here and I can just pull this out a little bit and then just just plug in the, uh, the extension cord and then the truck is on shore power and then at that point all uh, the batteries are being charged all the AC loads are uh, being provided for like the battery chargers for all the cordless drills and stuff like that um, so why it's the vehicles off and inside of, of a structure uh, when there is no sun, it can still be uh, charging everything. And then there's a remote. I'll just 
just turn that off so that come back on the remote um, screen here so that you can kind of see what's going on with the inverter uh, and the battery uh, without having to go all the way to the back there and look at those little LEDs that are on the inverter so that's kind of nice actually I think I'll put that back in standby so that is basically it in a nutshell so a 1200 watts DC 3000 watt inverter um, I've ran some pretty big loads off there like a big shot back and uh, hammer drills, uh, heat guns, stuff like that, and it works out uh, really quite nice. Uh, the system also has built in to where it, it isolates the secondary battery, so you don't ever have to worry about depleting your primary battery and getting stuck someplace and uh, not being able to uh, start it. So basically some uh, audio and visual alarms go off and that'll let you know uh, the, to you know start the vehicle. And you can always use the vehicle when that's running to then charge the batteries and also power the inverter as well. So you got multiple sources of, uh, of uh, power and be able to uh, charge. And then of course, this is kind of an example of, you know, have an outlet that I can charge all kinds of uh, AC loads off of that, which is uh, quite nice. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and um, it's uh, definitely possible to mount uh, solar on a Sprinter. Uh, they do make smaller solar panels, by the way, in terms of lengthwise. Uh, if you don't like the looks of it hanging off of the truck, uh, I wanted as much power as possible, so you just gotta get into a really big module, but I also knew I wanted these side lights, um, and this was like a perfect mechanism to kind of cantilever those lights out a little bit to clear the body uh, so that you really do get the light even along the edge of the vehicle and whatnot. So I think it turned out really nice. So let me know what you think. And if you need any uh, help uh, getting something sorted out for your Sprinter, just let us know. Thanks.